Hey, Collective, it's your girl, Spiritual Sag. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Spirit, what's coming in for my collective? Please and thank you. What do they have to look forward to? Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel this energy. What does my collective have to look forward to, Spirit? Please and thank you. All right. You have the Six of Wands with the Hangman. Hmm. Three of Wands. This is giving me like a, a chasing energy. Somebody's starting to see you different because you're in the Six of Wands energy. Somebody could have waited too long. This Three of Wands right here. Yeah. Could be a Capricorn for some of you guys or there could have been something toxic about the situation. This person, I feel like somebody just played themselves with what they done done. They played themselves. Queen of Pentacles with the justice here. Somebody may have chose someone for material gain. Okay, you got Libra, Leo, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, but with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like whoever they chose, I feel like it was this Queen of Pentacles right here. I feel like things are switching. And the person that they left out in the cold could be in the Six of Wands. Oh, let's see, y'all. Let's grab the Kip Dip. The Kip Dip. I'm trying to turn it down. It's too loud. Spirit, what's going on with this situation? Please and thank you. Hmm, I see five dimension, fifth dimension, and then abandoned. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Yep, false person. Damn, for some of y'all, <laughs> get the fuck, get the fuck. I said they could have got with someone for material gain. This person didn't even have what they said they had. Okay, now this person wants to release it with this change card. But I told you, things is changing around. The person that they thought would be um, in this Six of Wands was not. Shit is just switching, okay? With that Wheel of Fortune, who was, the person who was at the top, now it's, you know, it's ebb and flow. You can't always be at the top. You can't always be at the bottom. All right, so you got this journey. You got 9, 10. You got this Thief card right here. So 8, 9, and 10. Something's happening in divine order anyway. It's almost like they, they chose someone who they thought had money. And it's they're coming to find out that person only got with them for what they had. For real, for real. For some of them, they're realizing that the person that they got with was stealing from the energy that they left out in the cold. What? With this thief card, yeah, and toil and labor. But something's coming to an end. And so now they're starting to see like where this, either where this creativity was coming from or where this person's stability was really coming from. They were stealing it. There could even be some identity theft going on. There is an official person here. See, not, oh, y'all, for some of y'all, this is some identity shit going on with this false person. And now that this official person is involved, somebody's trying to leave. Look, y'all. They packing their stuff, getting in the car, and they, they leaving. So they got with someone who got them trapped up eight, nine to the 10. And so whoever this false person is, I feel like somebody's about to confess or reveal something. Or either they on the run. Either this person is on the run because they realize they got with a thief. Somebody who was really stealing shit. Like somebody stole somebody's identity or something. Y'all, this crazy. With this thief car. And like I said, ooh, official person and sudden wealth. Now that this official person is involved, 
And I didn't want to leave this Queen of Pentacles. Mm. What deck would show us more? Uh, let's look at the situation's deck. Yeah, like they were trying, whoever they were stealing from, I feel like it's the person that this energy left out in the cold. They could have stole that person's identity. They could have been stealing that person's work or they could have been stealing that person's money. Basically, a man chose another woman who he thought had more just to find out that that woman is living off the other person that he left out in the cold's clout, basically. With that six of wands right there. Like this person could even aspire to be like the uh, okay, we got a drama queen here. Thirsty wanna cause some chaos, whoever the fuck that is. Yeah. But see now I, I feel like it's some official shit going on. Maybe somebody got with a real scam artist. Your baby. Yeah, money, surviving, daily hustle. And I feel like this person don't want to be caught up with this false person. They don't want to be caught up. And see, the re this man got on the mask. He was lying when he went over here. He went over here for the material. But his heart was really with somebody else. So whatever energy you put out, that's what you're going to call in. This person was being fake and false. They called in somebody who was being fake and false. And now they done got caught up with somebody with this money situation. Mm-hmm. It was a lesson here. Spiritual lessons. Because remember, I said something's going in divine order, 8, 9 to the 10. This needed to happen so this person could learn a lesson. It was a karmic lesson wrapped up in it. Uh, not saying that the person was karmic. It was just a karmic lesson. Now, maybe this person was karmic. We did see the devil. It was a lesson that they needed to learn. And look, done. Lesson, look. Completion, lesson learned. Hell no. Cause I'm telling you, they do not want it. They done figured out something here. Somebody was stealing something from another person. Or trying to be like the other person. Because let me show y'all something. <coughs> I feel like this you collected on this six of wands. This is who they chose. And you see how this person is looking up to you? I, with this thief card down here, I really feel that this energy was stealing something from you. Clout. Maybe they bring your name up. Like, y'all, let me tell you, this motherfucker made a video. And the title of their video was my name. Like, bro, really? <laughs> you should never have to use another person to come up. You know what I'm saying? You should have your own creativity. But that's kind of what I'm getting right here. This false person was, like, obsessed with the energy that this other person left out in the cold. And so now this energy don't want to be bothered with this person no more. And the real, like, the mask is falling off. They're seeing that either they were stealing your work, stealing your yo the way you act the way you walk the way you talk something like that and they may have even had this person convinced that you was trying to be like them but the truth of the matter is they is trying to be like you so now this person's enraged this karmic energy is pissed the fuck off okay thirsty want to cause some chaos karmic done completion lesson learned enraged I don't know what they enraged for. It's a wrap for you, baby. Baby. What else, baby? That for, you know, told you. Now this person is panicked. They're scared. They got anxiety. Because whatever the fuck they were that they did, there's an official person involved. You know, I'm kind of, I, I feel like this false person was doing shit 
possibly behind at your profile or y'all it's something with like copycat energy here and they may have thought that you was gonna go down for but somebody followed the money i feel like this official person they followed every motherfucking dollar and it's coming back to these two people and and this man is like what like people could have to move Somebody could have bought a nice home, but how they got it, using somebody else's identity or a credit card or some shit like that, y'all. Now they got to move. Maybe cars is being repoed. Like the truth is coming out about this person. They was making their living off of whoever's in this six of wands. And I honestly feel like the person that's in the six of wands is the energy that this man left out in the cold. For a lot of you, this is a divine feminine in the six of wands. And obviously, like the car said, this is karmic right here. Wow. And uh, something got this person freaking the fuck out. And I feel like it's because it's all coming back on them. I feel like they did a lot. We're going to pull some tarot in a minute because the seven of cups, seven of swords, something like that might come out. They did a lot. With the, they just thought that because they was using your name or your cloud or your business name or something like that, that you would file for that. Mm, y'all heard that horn that's confirmation but this official person is following that shit like hold on because maybe it was a lot of money maybe they got a lot y'all remember back when them ppp loans was popping motherfuckers was getting them damn ppp loans you know they gonna follow them coins and so if something don't add up shit let's look into it Year. I feel like they did a lot to a pinnacle. They did a lot of shit. Spirit, what's going on? Yeah. See, this motherfucker, I'm telling you, eight of cups. Somebody like, oh, I ain't going down with your ass. There's three cards of this person leaving. You got the surrender card on this nine. So again, eight, nine, ten. Eight of cups. The nine is surrendering. The ten is the journey. Either this person going on the run, 12, 22 on the phone. Or they just getting the fuck away from whoever this is. Like, uh-uh. And then this person could be like, well, you, I bought you a car with that money. You helped me spend that money. You was um popping bottles and you was celebrating with me. And this person was like, because I thought it was your money. I didn't know you was stealing from somebody. They're stealing from someone who has some type of presence out there in the world okay because somebody here is in that six of wands energy and that's who they were stealing from but this masculine did not know that shit and now that they know they leaving and this person is fucking panicking because things is coming back on them they just thought that all of it would fall back on whoever this is in the six of wands so again anger we already see this rage Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me get my smile deck. I see the Wheel of Fortune again. Something could be coming back around. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces, with a High Priestess, uh, an Earth sign. Spirit, what's going on? What we need to see right here? Uh, two of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. I told you with the Ace of Swords. They only got with this person, but the two of cups is coming out in the reverse. But look, they only got with this person because somebody was waving money in their face. But that ten of pentacles. Come to find out, <laughs> they was getting the ten of pentacles from somebody else. So now this person's breaking up with them. Two of cups in the reverse. Walking away. Why? Because they see the truth. Ace of swords. And they could want to... I told you the reason that this person attracted this lie is because they was lying. I said earlier they had emotions for another person. I said, the only reason they chose this other connection was because of the money. Come to find out the person that they really cared about, that's who this energy was stealing from some kind of way. So with this identity theft, maybe y'all got good credit or they schemed up something here, y'all. And this truth is coming out. And so with this page of cups, I feel like this masculine could want to apologize to you about something. There's a tower here. Page of Pentacles. This is like 
Yep, with the fucking King of Swords. This King of Swords was investigating whoever the fuck this is. And the Page of Pentacles is like um, new discoveries. Learning something new that may have blew something out the water. Like, hold up. Well, this big purchase was... Y'all know what I'm getting. You know that movie, uh, Goodfellas, when he said, when that when that man bought his wife that damn pink Cadillac and that mink coat, <laughs> he pimp slapped the shit out of his ass in that club, told him to take that shit back. Now, he said, I told you not to do anything flashy, and, and, and you bought a, a, a mink coat and a pink Cadillac? It's in my mama's name. He said, I don't care, I don't care, take it back. That's kind of what I'm getting right here. Because this Ten of Pentacles, that's a lot of money. That's, that ain't nothing small. And so, the King of Swords, everybody knows the King of Swords is an authority figure. Okay? And and and, and, and things ain't matching up. Because somebody stole somebody's identity, bro. Just the fuck, period. And like I said, this person, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is this energy right here. This King of Swords been looking into it. And they done figured it out. And I figured out something, y'all. Now, for others of you, somebody could work in like a courthouse and they could be signing stuff over into their name. Um, like they could be doing some, it could be an elaborate thing going on, but somebody done figured it out. Okay, so four ones. Could be something with titles, deeds, Transferring names, something with property with this four ones right here. This person gonna find out, yeah. And look, they is mad that this person is eight of cups. Again, that's the same card, y'all. Eight of cups with the damn knight of swords. Knight of sword with the eight of cups. Same shit. And they pissed because this person see the truth. Like, hold up. Maybe um bills was coming. In the mail, they had this person's name or this person's business name or something like that. Somehow, somebody got caught up. Some, maybe something didn't match up or something. And for others of you, I'm picking that up. Maybe somebody works. You know how you go and apply for to get your water turned on. Sometimes you have to get your social security number, your address, and all that old bullshit. If this person works in one of those places where they have access to public records... That could have been how they've been making their living off of other people. But specifically in this reading, they was making a whole life off of this person that's in the Six of Wands. And thought that this, this person was going to go down for it. But now that shit is coming back because this King of Swords, they looked into it. They looked all the way into it. They followed every fucking dollar. Bitch, if you went to McDonald's and ordered a 99 cent fry, this person on it. They own it. And so maybe something didn't add up. So for some of y'all, it's just that they stole your identity and got like credit cards and shit like that. For others of you, people could be signing over, um, could be something here with a child. Somebody could have signed, somebody could have stole someone's, uh, like a child's trust fund with the page of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. Because remember now, earlier I said this masculine thought that he was getting with somebody who had money just to find out that this person was stealing from them. It's like a scheme, a plan, or something. Okay? And they may have thought that this energy that was in the six of ones, they may have thought that that person was codependent. That person's independent. They're in the nine of pentacles. Which is why, and I, yep, looking at them differently, it's the same thing. Hangman to the Six of Wands. They're looking at this person that's in, on this horse differently. The person that's on this horse, and that's where they're being guided to with the Six of Swords. The person that's on that horse is independent, Nine of Pentacles. And that's why this Queen of Pentacles was stealing from them. They were stealing something. Some is just your identity. For others, it's like an inheritance. They were signing shit over some kind of way. I don't know how. Unless, like I say, they work at like a title company or a loan company. You know, small loan companies. Or maybe they watch. Okay. Mm. 
They could have watched this person who's in the Six of Wands, watched their daily activities and where they go. Like, this could have been all the way thought out. So let me give y'all a scenario. This Queen of Pentacles, and she could have had people helping her or whatever. But the Queen, hmm, I'm getting something about a job too. Like, they have a sister who works who's a manager at a job and they got information because this person used to work there. Okay, but anyway, let me give y'all just a scenario and y'all take how it resonates. This Queen of Pentacles watches this person. Say for instance, this person goes and gets maybe a payday loan or something like that, y'all. Then they go and apply to the place that this person was doing business at. But it's something about somebody's in the public eye with this six of wands. So this could be someone's business name. Something like that is going on, y'all. And they was getting a lot of money off of it. Ten of Pentacles. For some of y'all, there's other people helping them. Could even be family members. So-called friends. Because again, the Ten of Pentacles is a lot of money. It's, it ain't no, it's not the four of pentacles or the six of pentacles. It's the ten. The ten is the most. This is like generational wealth. For some, this could be millions. And they out there living it up off of this person. And they went, they didn't give a fuck because they was like, shit, it's in that person's name. They gonna go to jail for it, not me. But when I tell you somebody follow every fucking thing, because maybe something didn't make sense. So if this Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles could be a man, y'all. Just it's just energy. But if this Queen of Pentacles done went and got a whole ten of Pentacles, and maybe this nine of Pentacle person is living very modest, right? Maybe this Queen of Pentacles is um, going out and to restaurants that cost two hundred fifty dollars a night, where this person right here going to McDonald's. It's like, wait a minute, something ain't adding up. Something ain't making sense. And then for, for some of y'all, it's so much money, it's got to be somewhere. Where is the money? Where did it go? 2222 on the phone. Because y'all know a while back I was picking up. I said, there's a mother figure and a married couple that done opened the bank. I think they had, they knew somebody that worked at the bank, y'all. Like, this shit is big. It's elaborate for some. For some of y'all, it's just motherfucker. That's crazy, y'all. The other night, me and my son saw these motherfuckers dumpster diving. We ain't never seen no shit old like that before in this neighborhood. And I knew immediately. I said, oh, hell, they're trying to steal somebody's identity. That was the first thing that came to my mind. Like, bitch, why is you hop? I'm talking about they hopped in that motherfucker head first. You know them big-ass green dumpsters? That motherfucker, he ran. Look, he stepped back, ran, and toof. <laughs> hopped on in there. I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga doing, bro? And then... That was one night. Then another night, it was a woman and a man. They pulled up in a decent car, so you know it's something off. But you ain't looking for cans and shit. Not in this neighborhood. What, what are you doing? Okay? So, it's it's some... That's why the cards say theft, false person, toil and labor. It's some shit going on. And I feel like it's big. Some people could even gave other motherfuckers money. Hey, if you can give me this person's um, date of birth, I I break you off. If you can give me this person's social security number, I break you off. Da, 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 da. Cause ten of pentacles. That's a lot. That's a lot. And so, baby. And for others of you, like I said, somebody could have stole someone's child's trust fund. They could have went in if they work at the court or whatever. They could just be an administrator. You know when you go to the court, the woman at the front desk who, like, take the payments or tell you which hall to go down to get to which courtroom? She could have been that person, he or she. Uh, and somehow they could have went in and made themselves, how do you say it, not conservator. Like, I don't know all them big names, but they could, you know how when, when you get your, like at the cable company or something, or the phone company, you have an option to make yourself, uh, to put another authorized user on there. So when you 2444 on the phone, so when you're not available, that other person can make changes to the account, no questions asked. Somebody could did that. 
okay? And, you know, they could have made it to, because last night I got a vision where, and I actually wrote it down. I'll show it to y'all just so y'all know I ain't lying. I didn't get there. Okay. And what I was seeing was a screen was being mirrored to somebody. Like every time somebody typed in some shit, the other person could see it. So, oof, I don't know. But this person's like, I'm not going, I'm not going down for you. I'm not getting in trouble for you. I thought this was how you was living. I thought this was your lifestyle. I thought, um, you know, this you just had it like that. But they don't. Okay. So you have gift here. They could have gifted this person a large lump sum of money. I don't know. What else, baby? Lovers. Choices. Yeah, this and this landed on top of this eight of cups. And the two of cups in the reverse. Mm-hmm. A whole maybe it was a whole community involved. I know like normally you see people getting new cars around tax season. Mm -mm. I saw this shit during the summer. Every car I saw had a, one of them little drive out plates on the paper tags. I was like, damn. And it was too many of them for it to be coincidence. Because you had people get taxes during different times of the year. I understand that. But it's like everywhere I went, every, every car that was beside me, every car that was in front of me had a damn paper tag on it. Like they just bought that bitch off the car lot. So I was like, damn. It's something going on, y'all. It is something definitely going on okay and somebody is panicking because the truth gonna come out there could be uh, an Aquarius involved with the star card it's a wrap for you baby five of pentacles and so what I'm getting with this five even if this person ain't um found out about but it, I, some of these people might have to move because them houses don't belong to them or they, they don't have the money to make the um the the payments on these cars something somebody in the five of pentacles and and see that's this false person and maybe it was some other people whoever following them but um somebody's like hell no they're they're walking away they don't want no parts of this shit at all let's pull my situations dead or did I? I think I pulled something. I, that's what I was looking for. Thank you, Spirit. Because somebody don't want no parts of it. On the verge about to reveal or confess. Because it's a lot of shit going on. Toxic, unhealthy behavior slash people. It's, it's a whole community or a group of people or something like that. And this person, they just thought they that these people had it like that. And they're realizing they were stealing that from whoever the fuck this is in this six of wands. Okay? They're like, I'm not. Family. Wow, blood ties in a circle. That's crazy. So, I mean, I don't know. And this could have happened in the past. I don't know whose family it was. I don't even know who in this six of wands. But whoever in this six of wands, this other person was trying to be like them. It could have been... This person's own family that was stealing from this energy. I don't know. But I'm telling you about the reveal or confess because they don't want to get involved in this shit. They like, hell, motherfucker. No. I thought you had it like that. Um, but some of y'all just could have already played out. It, for some of y'all, could be playing out now. It just depends. Everybody's on a different timeline. There could be something here with a child. Keep seeing this page of pentacles. Most of the time, the page of pentacles, like I said, that's discovery. That's new information coming through. Mm. Let's pull some of these green cards. Because there is a gift. If these people weren't gifting this masculine money, then this gift could be coming to the person that's in this six of wands energy. Shit, that could have even been, because somebody could be famous, y'all, with the six of wands or have some type of clout. 
or you know and like that reading that i did a little while back i said the real mccoy like people could have been acting like you and maybe they was getting ready to sign deals and shit like that Somehow somebody was living off the person that they left out in the code. That's really what I'm getting. The bottom of the deck says, expect good news and money matters. A raise or a job offer. Promising opportunities await. Okay? Yep. Embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. It's something about this person that's in this six of wands. That this queen of pentacles or whoever these energies are over here, they, they was trying to be that person. Straight up. And maybe they try to place you up under some fear. Spirit says, overcome your fear of success or failure. Don't sabotage your own success. And don't allow, don't allow your fear to make you forget your greatness. Remain positive and on track. Now, for others of you, there could be something major involved. Like a Ten of Pentacles could be the end goal for this Queen of Pentacles. So this Queen of Pentacles and her family could have did some things behind this person who's on the Six of Wands to try to get them hemmed up, try to get them locked up so they wouldn't even, they're no longer competition. And or they're, these people are free to continue doing what they're doing because this person behind bars, something like that, y'all. All right, so you have manifesting here. It says you have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming in soon. And an opportunity may come where you can showcase your talent. Because I, like I said, somebody is in the six of wands. Somebody done got some recognition. They either own a business or maybe they got talent like this card said. And people was living off this person. Either stealing their ideas. Um, something like that, y'all. Then you got this persistence. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed because this King of Swords has been looking into shit. Like I said, if you buy a 99 cent fry at McDonald's, which they only had them no more, baby. I think they're like 129 now. And you don't get but three extra fries. Like, what the fuck is going on? And they ain't even real potatoes. Anyway. Um, if you buy a dollar fry, this King of Swords is on it. They want they they own it. They like hold oh, up, cause it's it's you know it's too much. This is a ten of pentacles. And for others of you, maybe somebody thought you were supposed to have something already, cause there's a card in here that says people are not following through on their promises to pay. So y'all yeah, could have did something in the past, cause the next card says you could be earning or receiving money from something that you did in the past. It also says something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. So another thing that I'm getting, checks could be coming to you for what you did in the past, kind of like royalties, okay? Again, somebody's in the six of wands. But the way you live in don't make sense, you see? Somebody's following some shit. Well, where did that money go? Because this person ain't got it. So it's something like that going on. Okay. I don't know why I just got that. With this, you could be earning money from something that you did in the past. For some of you, you gave somebody the missing piece. That could be why they want to give you that gift. That's only for some of y'all. This is crazy. But let's keep going. <laughs> Somebody could have showed them act like they was you. You know, hey, people get creative. And with this blood ties in a circle, so that's family and friends is involved. People flip when, when if the price is right, they give you anything you want. Oh, you want this person's birthday? Oh, shit. They were born at um, 151 that morning. I remember because the moon was bright. And can you add an extra $100? Oh, I even tell you what the doctor had on. Yeah, like, what? The fuck? Spirit, what going on with these folks today? Setbacks. All right, so you're being asked to follow your instincts at this time when making business decisions. 
okay? Some of you guys could be a part of some type of rescue association or you could work with animals. And then this mechanic says, mend what needs mending. And then this setback, your attempts to create, I'm sorry, your attempts to increase your income have been largely unsuccessful because somebody is doing something right here. I don't know how the hell they doing it. Maybe your money been up and down or it's not coming in like it's supposed to. Maybe they hacked your account or something. Or they could just have your shit somewhere else. Somebody's with the toilet lab. I feel like somebody's stealing somebody's work. Cause look, envy. Others could be envying your success. Period. And so it's other motherfuckers. To entertainer. I told you somebody's in the public eye. In that six of wands. Yeah. This card says unfulfilled. All right. So it says explore your wants and needs and consider a change. If you do change, if you change this, these motherfuckers ain't going to be able to eat no more. Because they eating off of you. Then how they going to, you see what I'm saying? It says if you're unhappy with the, in, you're unhappy with the income, but you're too scared to make any changes. Because for some of you guys, you know your business should have taken off by now. Or you know you should be receiving more than what you are receiving. I mean, you are independent with this nine of pentacles, but you you should be getting more than what you're getting for some of y'all. And the reason you're not is because these people, envious of you. I said somebody wanted to be you. I said this masculine left you out in the cold to get with somebody who wanted to be like you. Imagine that shit. That's like fucking the fake. Now, entertainer put yourself out there bring out the best so that you can get noticed some of you guys could be drawn to drawn to careers in theater dancing music or any type of entertainment is there a talent that you can turn into money it's time to think outside the box because some of y'all that's the whole reason you're standing in the fucking six of wands if there's a talent that you have because on this card it says an opportunity may come where you can showcase your talent on this magician card. And there's people watching. Look at that. There's people watching you do what you do. Let me point it out. Because it's, it's way back there. You might not be able to see it. But I see their asses. And one right there. Okay. There's one right there. And there's one right there. They're watching you do what you do. I don't know how. And see, somebody could have tried to invest in you. Look at this, legal, yeah. Mm. Some of you guys could get money from some type of legal matter. Could be something legal going on. It's something, shit, something going the fuck on. Now, if a Ten of Pentacles situation was left to you, they stole it. So you have unexpected and you have this tower. Expect some type of financial turmoil. A job loss could make it difficult. Prepare for the unexpected. So, like I said, damn. Damn. Maybe I should not be talking about this. Promoter, is there an idea or is there an idea or a project manifesting? If it is, know that it has great potential for success. Okay, careers in nightlife industry, events, or restaurant industry, or a restaurant industry could be just right for you. There's the empress right there. Some of y'all might need to use the law of attraction to attract money. It says be the energy that you want to attract. This there's something, and then entertainer again. Because somebody's in the six of wands. Or there's an opportunity coming to you for you to be in the six of wands. But again, you got this thief, you got this toil and labor, and you got some legal shit going on. It's something going on. But Spirit says your persistence have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. It's it's like the real McCoy or something, y'all. Yeah, patience. So divine timing is at hand. It will require you to have faith while you are shown the way. If you feel tired or out of balance, the universe is forcing you to rest and recover. 
because things could pick up and start going real fast now that somebody sees the truth because somebody does want to apologize with their page of cups right there so say yes to the things you think you can't do somebody trying to create this loss i don't know why i don't even understand and then entertainer again it, it, it don't make sense and you got this yeah i saw that unethical card entertainer again investment charity see somebody could have left you something the rebel it says you're a trailblazer meant to see things differently and set a new path for others your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way what's at the back of it recognition that's the six of wands okay so your money is looking good and solid and whatever you're working on now will win you the respect of others some of you could earn a leadership position or get the recognition that you deserve with that hangman. Somebody seeing what a real talent was. Maybe they hired this other person. Maybe they was working with this other person and that other person was getting they, they shit from you. It's something like that going on. Yes, yeah, somebody getting ready to go to the next level, boo-boo. Huh? It says you're about to take your finances to the next level. And there's a chance for something extra in the air. So here you go now. Do not be intimidated to enter the world of business. You got this. Consider executive positions, becoming a CEO or anything in the corporate world. It's time for some of y'all to think bigger than what you're doing. Because these other motherfuckers was, oh, they was taking that shit way out there. Some of y'all got a talent so motherfucking raw. Hello? Some of y'all got a talent that is so damn raw. Motherfuckers would do anything to have that talent. But you got that talent. Okay? And it's going to take you. Your gifts going to take your ass to the next level type shit. And so spirits say a situation that needed resolution will be resolved and healed. That's what I see. Anything else for my collective today, spirit? The car says there could be some financial disputes going on. Mistakes, money manager. For some of y'all, you may you might receive a ten of pentacles. If you do, you're going to have to get you a money manager. I don't know. Spirit is saying the answers that you are seeking will remain unclear for now. Somebody about to reveal, confess something. Okay. Justice is here. Your career may be in law, such as police, military, courts, or criminal justice. I was talking about the courts earlier. So some of you guys may work in that. You got this unethical car right here. It says someone is stealing or lying to you about money. Take action. Yes, whatever your question is telling you, go forward. Do not procrastinate. You need to take action on something. And this could be happening to a, a writer or someone who's an entrepreneur. <coughs> this could be happening to a masculine. And maybe the masculine thought that somebody else was stealing from them, but it was really this person. Something like that, y'all. Okay? But... Pay attention to details and create a plan to grow your business or your personal finances with this planner right here. But the reason Spirit was telling you, the reason Spirit has been forcing you to relax and just sleep, maybe just sleep all damn day, is because this card is a good indicator that things is about to start moving real fast. You're going to the next level. Stability. Real stability. I don't know what y'all getting ready to get into. Some type of job is coming back to you. Yep, I knew it's because of somebody's gifts. That, that, that's what this boiled down to. Somebody's gifts, somebody's talent, okay? It says you have natural talents, gifts, and abilities just waiting to be discovered. So they've already recognized you for whatever this is that you're doing. But there's more in you. Because on this Nine of Pentacles card, this is somebody who's talking to the ancestors right there. 
And then that could be what this gift card is too. Maybe you are a gift to the world with these natural talents, gifts, and abilities that you got. But the other part of the card says you could get a cash bonus at work or someone may give you a gift, lend you some money, or help you out in some kind of way. Okay? Then you, there's this card where I say somebody want to take you up under their wing and show you something. This card says consider careers in counseling, psychic work, or energy healing. It's something big going on right here. And your gift about to take your ass. You about to, you about to get some offers. And maybe they wanted you to deny this. Place you up under some fear or something. Or maybe they wanted this independent person to deny you. Someone is coming to your rescue, though. Get over that fear. You need to over overcome that fear. Let that fear go. This rescue card says somebody might enter your life and help you resolve any difficulties that you're experiencing because somebody's seen the truth here. Confirmation. Y'all heard the horn. Rescue. Some of you might become part of a rescue mission. It's really, it, every time that little part comes out, I say, okay, you might be helping children. That could be what these little pages is. And maybe they got with somebody else, start dealing with somebody else who said that they had these gifts, that, that they don't. They don't have these gifts. Okay. So anyway, y'all, some type of recognition, whatever needed healing is, got, is about to be healed, about to be resolved. And you're going to go to the next level. And for some of you, somebody wants, there's going to be business offers here. For others of you, somebody could want to take you up under their wing. Some of y'all may have an uh, opportunity to showcase your talent. There's that rebel again. Say yes to the things you think you can't do. You need to embrace your unique style and own it. Maybe people made fun of you for your gifts, your skills, and your talents. But your gifts, skills, and talents are getting ready to take your ass to the next level. Just period. So, y'all, I don't know how all of this is going to resonate. Only take it where it does. If it don't, then leave it. It may be for someone else. But I do want to get y'all an angel message. I like to close out with those. Honestly, that's my favorite part of the reading, child. When it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. It's a wrap for you, baby. How about I thought that song just came out? Because it's blowing up on TikTok. Yeah, that song been out since 2009. All right, let's get an angel message in here for y'all. Let's talk about me, baby. And you, darling. There could be a wedding here. Or a wedding could be involved in this situation. Either way, it says marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Okay. Shower of abundance. Maybe somebody was just finna marry someone for money. I don't know. I don't know what the hell going on. But uh, spirit, there's family again. The situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member. Okay? So you have this change in direction and earth angel. This is who was in that six of wands. I feel. Okay? And so it says you are a light worker who's come to earth to teach people about love. So here you are hoisting the light. Now that other energy, they, they showed up as that devil card. That's the darkness. And what the light going to do is going to illuminate the darkness. And uh, so... You may be experiencing some changes in your life, but these are for your highest good. <coughs> Twin flame at the bottom of the deck. Because like I said, the masculine that chose that Queen of Pentacles, that Queen of Pentacles was karmic as fuck. And that earth angel who was standing in that uh, Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, that's their Twin Flame. And y'all know these motherfuckers that come up against these twins because it's something so powerful about these two people coming together. 
where you have whole families, whole communities that will try and split them up. It's crazy. Parents, somebody's parents could have been involved in this. So it says, you've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Okay. If you this earth angel, because this, this says somebody could want to give you a gift. You yeah, know. Yep. Look at this, y'all. I ain't gonna never make it up. Okay, we could just keep going. Thank you, spirit. Somebody might even write a damn book. But let's talk about it. This is listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Okay? Then you got mediumship. You have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. Then we have third eye. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. Then you have life purpose. Then you have focus on service. Then you have workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Then you have books. Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. And then this man is working with some children. But their children are deceased. They got angel, they got wings. And so maybe this person who is who has the ability to connect with departed loved ones. Like these two people could come together and give a voice to the ones who've already passed. Hell, maybe they could solve some crimes or some shit. I don't know. It's it's something going on. It's something going on. So that is what I have for y'all. Again, y'all, these are general readings. If you do feel as if something resonated, then I would suggest that you get a personal reading. I do not offer personal readings, but there are a lot of accurate, uh, intuitive tarot card readers who do on YouTube, Instagram. They all over the fucking place, okay? I would just suggest you listen to your own intuition because your intuition is not going to lie to you. The ego, maybe. Intuition, no. The problem with that is... You know, the intuition is always correct. We just don't always listen to it. We get caught up in the flesh and want to listen to our ego and listen to the other motherfuckers around us and what people have done before us. But if you if you go within, like the card said, quiet your mind and, and listen to our reassurance that everything's been taken care of, your intuition going to lead you right where you're supposed to be. So, yeah, you guys are getting a brand new beginning away from these damn karmics who've been putting y'all through hell and back. But it ain't went unnoticed again. This is we acknowledge you for the progress that you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution that you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. But this the earth angel right here, child. Something with these twins and, and families doing this crazy stuff. Okay. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Both of them. Till next time. Bye.